So before the break, we got some insight into how COVID has impacted our mental health in the last year. And now we're going to turn our attention to how we can incorporate what we learned over the last 12 or so months into the future. For All Season, CEO Beth Ann Langrell says two key words are grace and understanding. Here's Don't Marvel Life's Katie Zarilli. With COVID compelling more and more of us to seek mental health services, one might wonder, has that overwhelmed those who work in the profession? For All Season CEO Beth Ann Langrell says, not a bit. I have my master's in counseling mm -hmm. and a specialty in crisis management. So for me, it's my wheelhouse. And she's got a team that fearlessly took on and continues to take on each and every task. I'm super fortunate to work with a group of people that give it their all and everybody sort of took their part um, and then to be able to serve as such an important part of our county's response team through COVID. Um, I continue to sit on the COVID response team and we really we really learned how to do partnership a little bit differently through COVID. We'd all worked together before but there was a whole different level of digging in. She learned lessons on an individual level too. And I think the number one thing for me that I have personally learned through this pandemic is the power of accepting someone's help. It not only makes a difference for you as a person, but it also makes a difference for them to be able to provide assistance. Chances are we can all pull out something that the last year has taught us, something that going forward we won't want to forget. There's so many ways that we as a community can connect differently and really take the effort to say, I don't want to go back to a place where I didn't feel like I had enough time for my family or I didn't feel like I had enough time for dinner. So maybe as things reopen, you can't imagine yourself having seven dinners at the kitchen table, but maybe you can imagine yourself having one. And so start there and see where that goes. The big concept there is grace. As we take steps towards getting back to a collective normal, Beth Ann says having understanding for yourself and for others is going to be crucial. I think the number one thing that we have to do as a community is be okay with where people are and not make people feel as though they need to explain why they aren't comfortable. And those comfort levels are going to be different for everyone in every situation. It might feel really strange the first time you go into a restaurant or you might get an invitation to an event and say, I'm not ready yet. And it's okay for us as humans to, to do what we need to do in that time frame. And it's just as important, you know, if you and I were out at, a, at an event together and you said, I'm not comfortable, it's just as important that I don't put you in a position that makes you feel awkward or feel like you've done something wrong because you're taking care of you. We could all certainly say we've learned patience over the last year and in the days, weeks and months ahead, we're going to have to put it into practice. It's a slow and steady wins the race. And so while we are all more than ready for things to open back up and we want to go from zero to 10, it's really important to remember that we do need to be mindful that it's going to take some time. We must be diligent about being compassionate, she says, as if it's our duty. Everyone's not going to take it at the same pace. And our responsibility as neighbors and friends is to provide other people the space and opportunity to be at their pace and us be accepting without judgment of how things are working. Together, we've endured this pandemic. Together, we will move forward. And if you're interested in services at For All Seasons, head to DelmarvaLife.com for more details.